Okay, crownies, this is part two of the Black to Ash Blonde. Watch me blow dry in silk press. Okay guys, so I'm brushing my hair out with my Demi brush, but I wanted to show you something. See this part that keeps raveling into itself? That is overprocessing damage. So every time I've washed the hair, that one little section, which looks pretty because it's this really white blonde, but it is actually damaged from the hair overprocessing, and that was a, what I was afraid of. However, I am so happy that it's not the entire wig. It is literally just that portion. So definitely be careful if you're using the double bleaching method because this is something that can happen and ruin your entire wig versus just that small section. Okay, so I'm not gonna do too much talking in this video. It's pretty self-explanatory, just watching how I blow dry the hair straight before I silk press. And this brush has definitely been beat up from the heat from the blow dryer. Some of the bristles are a little bent, so it was not making it very easy for me in the beginning when the hair was wet to brush through this hair because of that factor. But yeah, any type of paddle brush or, you know, Demon style brush will be great for blow drying. If you're concerned about heat damage from blow drying and flat ironing, then you can blow dry your hair on a cool setting. It's just gonna take you longer or you can simply just let it air dry overnight. But I told you guys, I have no patience and I wanted to see what this hair looked like before I put my head on my pillow. So yes, I am using the heat at its highest setting. <laughs> Sorry, but um, no, I do not know what blow dryer I'm using. So please don't ask, it's not mine. But yeah, just finished watching. I almost forgot to mention, please use a heat protectant before blow drying or straightening your hair. Even with your real hair, I used one of the dry oils from the Moroccan Oil Company. I don't quite recall right now. I'll link it below in the description box. But I sprayed that on the hair while it was wet and then brushed it through prior to blow drying. I also used a Chi oil now when I'm straightening and blow drying my hair, but I didn't use it in this video. But you can use whatever you want. Okay, I don't know if you can see that white blonde part, but that is where the damage is from the bleach. So I just wanted to show you how pretty it is, but definitely damaged. Time to straighten those locks. Going in with my Nano Titanium by Baby Bliss Pro. I got it in a beauty supply store in a two pack for about $130, but don't quote me on that. I believe one is a one inch and one is a one and a half inch, or they might both be one inches. Don't even remember, but I keep one in my travel bag and I keep one in the house. But this straightener is the absolute bomb.com. The only thing that I wish it had was a more of a beveled edge to make pretty curls. What's the key to a silk press? Separating the hair strands. 
I've even used a hard hairbrush to do this process, which worked wonders on curly hair, but the whole point is to make sure that the heat can reach all the strands so that you can minimize how many passes you have to do, i.e. one, minimizing your hair damage. Look at that. So here's the ends, and they look like this before I bleached it. So I ended up trimming those ends just to give it a more full look at the ends, but so far I am very happy. And yeah, I see the dark hair at the roots, but again, it's all the way at the back. Nobody's gonna see that, so it didn't really matter to me to take it all the way to the tracks. If you are anything like me, this video was completely satisfying. It's just something about straightening hair. I don't know what it is, but I think this unit came out beautifully. It is by far my favorite. Here's what the lace looks like after it's tinted. It looks great on my scalp. No need to do anything else to it. If you haven't already, please subscribe, turn on your post notifications, thumbs up, and share. Check the description box and leave some comments and suggestions below, and I will see you next time, crownie.